YouTube, what's going on? This preacher. I'm here. I'm here at my um direct freight that I got. Okay, so some of y'all ask, I'm gonna let y'all know. Try to do as quickly as possible. I have a contract, contracted freight, right? And my contracted freight, where I'm at right now, is pays me nineteen hundred dollars. Yes, on the spot market, I can get a lot higher rate. Okay, the season is getting ready to start with my contract to freight. It goes from October to May. I get two loads per week. I can do more, but I'm only one person. Okay, so I only can do two loads per week at $1,900 a load. The load that I get coming back up here is another contracted amount that I have. Okay, and that pays me $1,250 a load for that. Okay, so when you're looking at it i get 1250 all right thank you i get 1250 for coming up here on one load that uh, takes me to fayetteville and then i get 1900 for coming back from fairmont which is about 34 miles south of fayetteville so with with that saying that puts me at about 6300 for the week okay now i deliver this load friday morning i have an open window i can get there anywhere between eight to four i'm going to be home tonight which is thursday between nine and ten o'clock okay so my time will come back by eight o'clock it's 51 miles away from where i stay at i'm there by 9 10 they offload me real quick i'm good to go right it's no problem because I'm good to go. That gives me 6,300 bucks. So that's why I could be home five nights a week with Saturdays and Sundays off. Now, to build up my maintenance account that I have to build up sometimes, you know, I will work on a Saturday, a Sunday, and do a load. For instance, I just bought seven tires within the last month. On my truck so i got to put replace that money for those seven tires that i just got right i got four uh three trailer tires and uh four dry tires so i gotta replace that money so i'm gonna be working this sunday right i take saturday off and i work sunday and that gonna give me an extra 1350 on top of the 6300 that mm -hmm. I got. Okay? So that put me up to about 76, 70 uh yeah, about 76 mm -hmm. almost 77 for the week. Now I don't I don't do that all the time. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm trying to close these doors. I don't do that all the time. But if I got to build up my bank account again, that's what I do to build up my bank account. I take the contract free that I got because spark market is not always guaranteed. Yes, right now it's hot. All right, so I've been taking it because the season for my contract freight don't start until October. But they will call me every now and then when they customer when they customer needs the product. So, like now they've been calling me once a week to do a little there once a week at my contract freight of $1,900. But that's what I do, okay? I do it because I know I would get that amount of money, no matter what. So when things slow down, I still get that amount of money, okay? That's one of the main reasons why I do it. So when, you, when you're looking at things, spot market is spot market. Yes, I showed y'all uh, my rate comes for one week okay I can't do that every week anybody tell you that they do that all the time they lying to you they lying to you I can make $8,000 in a week yeah I can alright but I don't want to work like that but that's me you can, you, you can work like that but I don't want to work like that you know, I became an owner because I want to spend time with my family. I want to make a lot of money and work less. 
Okay, I do about under 2,800 miles a week for 6,300 bucks. If I decide to do another load, it's only 120 miles. Add on to that, at $750 a load. Like the water loads that I'm going to do this Sunday. I got two water loads that I'm going to work on Sunday for. One paying me $700, the other one paying me $750. Okay, and that's going to be added on to my $300. So yeah, I'm making about 76, 50, uh, 77 for the week. And I'm gonna be home the rest of the day Friday. I'm gonna be off all day Saturday. And then I'll work on Sunday. So I'm gonna basically gonna do a 34 hour reset on my home. Cause I gotta need to build back up my maintenance account. You know, just in case something happened. I still gotta do an overhead on my truck. My mechanic wasn't able to do it. He ran out of time. And I didn't want to wait a whole nother day cause I had to get back on the road. So I still got the overhead adjustment to do. But that's why I take the contract to freight because it's guaranteed money no matter what. So during the winter time when stuff slow down and gets scarce down here, guess what? I'm still making my $1,900 a week. And my $1,250 going up, my $19 coming back. That's why I do these contract to freight. So no matter what, if, if, if it's slow, I'm still going to get $6,300 for four loads. It's still going to be home five nights a week with Saturdays and Sunday times, unless I choose to work, but that's that's me. When you're on the op, you can choose when you want to work, how you want to work. Okay, so that's my reason for it. Okay, not everybody had that reason, but that's my reason for it. Okay. Okay, if you think that you the you the um, negotiating king or queen, and you want to sit here and and. Uh, negotiate with these brokers all the time with stuff, hey, go right on the head. You can go right on the head, man. Like I said, but if somebody tell you that they getting that kind of money every single week, every single week regardless, they lying to you. Don't believe me. Because you don't get that every single week. Things happen. Okay? Things happen. Out of your control kind of things can happen. Okay? But only thing that you know for sure is, I know for sure, no matter what, I got six three hundred bucks. As long as I do these four loads, I got six three hundred dollars for the week, regardless. Okay, so that's why I do it. I, I I try to do things that you know it's going to be stable. So I get these in contracts. Can I make more money? Yeah, I can actually can make more money with this stuff. I could go out on the weekend, get up here on a Monday, pick up on a Monday, deliver on Tuesday, come back, pick up on a Wednesday, deliver on a Thursday. Then work the rest of the um the week Thursday for more money if I want to and still have the same six to three hundred bucks but I'm starting on Thursday instead of starting on Friday so that gives me a whole nother extra day on top to um make money on top of that but I choose to be with my family okay so th this works for me you have to do what works for you okay for the rates yeah they suck they do but it all depends on what you're willing to do for the money. Okay, it all depends on what you're willing to do for the money. I don't like the two loads I get that come out of Florida because it's some night driving. I don't like that. But they pay me the most coming out of Florida at twelve fifty a pop for the night drive. So I do the night drive. Okay, I do. Hey, it's just two nights out of the week, right? And then I'm home the next day. Just two nights out of the week. So I make that sacrifice of what I don't want to do because it works for my business. Okay, I had to make the business decision, not the personal, not not Joseph decision, but the Joe Askew LLC decision. So the owner said, "No, this is what you got to do to make this business successful." It's all about you trying to be successful in what you do. All right, I'll holler at y'all later.